What's going on Yu-Gi-Oh fans, Platinum Cards in the house and YCS Pasadena has come to an end and there have been a lot of different decks that are played and I wanted to take a look at this article that highlights the best decks from YCS Pasadena. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, we got ourselves Shizu Tier Elements, which of course is going to reign supreme in this meta right now and it's about an $800 deck. Holy crap, I know I, I'm... Punjabi, we like to round up. Like if it's 350 or above, we round up to 800. All right, so it's about 370. Um, so for the monsters, one Aguido. Okay, only one. Interesting. I'd like to run three of these. Two uh, Bestial Druid Swarm, three copies of Magnumut, one Bestial Sur Suriner. I usually like to run one of these as well. Two Divine of the Herald, three uh, Herald of the Orange Light, three Kelbex, uh, three Keldos, and three Medoras. All right. Three copies of Havanus, three copies of Merrily, three copies of Rhino Heart, and three copies of Shiren. Okay, so this is pretty similar. I feel like most of the tier elements that we see running around builds, they're pretty similar. Um, yeah, so certain um, ratios may be switched in around or cut, but for the most part, this is what you can expect. For the spells, three, or sorry, one instant fusion and three copies of the field spell Primeval Planet Perilino, which of course is going to be a three of and every deck until they limit it. Um, one copy of Tear Elements Scream, all right, and one copy of the Terraforming in order to search your prime. Okay, not bad. Uh, for the traps, uh, one Crime and two Suliac. They're both useful in their own ways for negation purposes, so I can completely see that being done. And then for the extra deck, let's see what we got. Uh, one copy of Abyss Dweller, interesting. One copy of Baron de Fleur, which you can make with your, where is it, Diviner of the Herald, because it is a tuner, so, um, one copy of Beatrice. This is something I don't run in my personal deck, so it might be something I, I check out. One copy of Dark, the Dark Charmer Gloomy. One copy of Garura, Super Poly Target, plus I'm pretty sure you can just make it with the regular cards anyway. One copy of IP Mascarena. One copy of Mech Knight Crusadia, I have Remax. One copy of Mud Dragon of the Swamp. One copy of Number 41. One copy of Predator Print Dragostopelia. One copy of Sprite Elves. One copy of Sprite Sprint. One Kaleido Heart. One Kit Kalos and one Rue Kalos. So the actual tier element fusions are only one of them in this deck. You see a lot of other generic things that definitely do help this deck out. Insane amount. And by generic, I mean like not specific to this deck. Um, and for the side deck, there has to be super poison here based on what I see in the extra deck. One Serenair. Okay, an extra one. One Called by the Grave. Three Forbidden Droplets. One Cypher Frame Driver, Driver and three Gammas. So you see this combo a lot these days. Uh, three Super Polys, one Heartbeat, and two Triple Tactics Talent. Um, very good reprint, honestly. Um, it's a lot more affordable, although I think it's a little too expensive for me still. Uh, overall, this is pretty solid. Most tier elements deck, I would say, are very similar after Shizu. You, um, there might be some changes in, like I said earlier, there might be changes in ratios. But overall, I feel like this is very similar to what we'd see. Um, next, we got another Ashizu's tier element deck, and there are, hopefully this one's a little bit different. So, one copy of the Dewar Swarm, okay, so this one's cut to one, three Magnemuts, one Cyberstein, okay, okay, this one is interesting, actually, interesting check choice, so maybe I was wrong. Uh, this card is not always treated as a cyber card. You can pay 5,000 life points, special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck in attack position. Interesting, this is an interesting choice. Personally, I don't like the 5,000 life point hit to my, uh, life points, uh, but... This card, this deck is insane. So it's possible that that isn't even too bad of a factor. Three Kelbex, three Keldos, three Medoras, three Havnesses, three Merilis, three Rhino Heart, and three Sharon. So everything else is just a three of right off the bat. Not bad. Um, one Instant Fusion, two Mystic Minds. Ooh, this man's a degenerate. Nice. I like it. I can call him a degenerate because I like Mystic Mind too. That makes me a degenerate as well. Uh, three copies of the Field Spell. One set rotation. Oh, interesting use of card. Basically lets you set a field card with um, field spell, one to your opponent, one to your side of the field. So you can give them Mystic Mind and give yourself this thing. So works really well. Um, one tier elements heartbeat, three tier elements scream, and one tier forming in order to search either of your field spells. Honestly, you have Mystic Mind and then you have this as well. Um, for traps, the crime and the Suliac, one of, of each. Um, let's see, the extra deck. Abyss Dweller at 1, Beatrice, Dark the Gloomy Charmer, Dark the Dark the Dark Charmer Gloomy, Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus, since obviously you're going to be running some XCs in there, Garura, IP Mascarena, Mud Dragon of the Swamp, Bazooka, uh, Protoplant Dragos Topelia, Sprite Elf, Sprint, Clyde Heart, Kit Kalos, Root Kalos, and Time Thief Redoer. Yep, so this is very similar to what we saw. There are some differences, for example, the Time Thief Redoer. Um, 
and the double a zeus but overall i would say it's very similar uh Next, we got for the side deck, Called by the Grave, three Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. During either player's turn, except during end phase, you can discard this card, apply this effect. Um, each time your opponent summons a monster during the main phase or battle phase, you can gain life points uh, equal to that monster's attack. This is used a lot. In my experience, people have used it in locals when they are, uh, when it is like round three and there's almost they're almost out of time. So they'll use this in order to just gain life points and win because they have the most amount of life points. And that actually has been an effective strategy. So, interesting. One copy of a Mystic Mind. So, this guy has the ability to run three of them if he wants. Three Nibirus. Uh, three there can only be ones. You can only control one of each type. Um, so, if I go to the main deck, I'm curious. All right. So, this is a dark, 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 earth, 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 dark, and waters. All right. So, you got to be a little bit careful, I would say. But overall not bad especially if you're gonna go first or whatever you can i guess get your plays off make sure that all the monsters on the field are one of each type and then you could set this card and then play this on your opponent's turn to screw them over so it does work three copies of triple tactic talent and one volcanic scatter shot i have seen this as a tech option before um i'm not too familiar with it so i'm not quite sure exactly what's being done there so maybe someone can enlighten me uh that would definitely be helpful and so let's go to the next one bestial sprite all right, nice to see Sprite getting some love. This deck is a little bit cheaper, coming around about $500. I know it's a little bit cheaper. That's how much my PS5 costs. Holy crap. Um, but starting off, three Ash Blossoms, three Druid Swarms, uh, two, three Magnemuts, two Suceraneers, uh, two copies of Nimble Angler. All right. Um, yeah, this card is still used pretty heavily. And it wasn't reprinted, or uh, no reprint was announced. So it's as a common right now is $11.91 right now. And that's insane. Uh, three copies of Nimble Beaver, three copies of Skullmeister, three Sprite Blues, one Sprite Carrot, three Sprite Jets, one Sprite Red, and three Swap Frogs. Interesting that this person is still going to go for Swap Frog uh, with the ban of Road and Toten. So I'm curious to see because i haven't tested this too much so i'm not quite sure or at least after the ban list i didn't test it too much so i'm not sure if the swap frog strategy is actually still like that good however this guy made it to the top so i'm sure it is a really good strategy um for the spells three copies of pot of prosperity two sprite smashers and three sprite starters this is a must have in this deck three copies of infinite permanence for the trap card and for the extra deck the newly reprinted cat shark love to see it one Dark the Dark Charm of Gloomy, Divine Arsenal of Double A Zeus, one Downer Magician, two Gigantic Sprite, one Nightmare Cerberus, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Obni Baru Soul Sweeper, who I think was also recently reprinted, uh, one Centuria, two Sprite Elves, one Sprite Sprint, one Totally Awesome, and one Wallow Founder of the Drudge Dragons. I really like this card to work with your Bestial card. So uh, it's, I think it's a nice uh, inclusion there. So. Uh, for the side deck, three Cosmic Cyclone spell trap removal is necessary, especially with Mystic Mind running rampant. Three Dimension Shifter, this can screw over a lot of decks, but surprisingly can also screw over this deck, so I'm surprised this person decided to put that in there. Um, three Droll and Lockbird, one Psy Frame Your Gamma uh, Driver, and three Gamma, one Red Resonator, and one Sprite Smasher. Red Resonator is a level two, so that's interesting. I've seen it before, I just never used it myself. I prefer my Resonators in my Red Dragon Archfiend deck. But overall, solid build, and it's definitely a lot cheaper than the original couple builds we were looking at. Looking at $800 and $500, yeah. So, next, we got ourselves Floranda Rees, and how the hell is a Floranda Rees deck $401? Most of these cards are really cheap, let's see. So, starting this off, Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds at 1, Dimension Shifter at 3, uh, Eglin at 3, Empin at 2, Rabina at 3, Stree at 1, Toucan at 1, Apex, Avian at 1, and Ryza at 1. So... I would say this is pretty much what, ex what you'd expect to see in the monsters for this deck. Um, the variety is where you... So to look for the variety, I guess you could look in the the spells a little bit more. So three copies of Dark Blue No More, three Advent of Adventure, three Magnificent Map, one un uh, Fl Flandries in the Unexplored Wind, one Harpy's Feather Duster, two Lightning Storms, three Mystic Mines. Okay. Three dualities, three prosperities, and one terraforming. One thing I love about this deck is you can run both of these at the same time. It does give you really, really good draw power. And for the traps, we got one of the copy of the Dreaming Town. You got to be able to uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh in your opponent's turn. Uh, Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus starts off the extra deck. Then we got Downward Magician, Elder Entis at two. Uh, Evil Twins, Trouble Sunny. Uh, I have 
no idea what this card even does. So definitely have to look into this after seeing it on this list. It is really cheap, 256 cents. Um, next, we got Garura, Nightmare Phoenix, Lurilusk Assembled Lightning Gear, uh, Myriologic Aggregator, Relinquished Anima, One Super Dreadnought, Real Cannon Gustav Max, and Dragonite Libby, Tri Brigade, Farajit, the Baron Blossom, Underworld Goddess of the Closed World, and One Wind Pegasus at Ignister. For the side deck, Triple Cosmic Cyclones, One Dimensional Fisher, one uh, Evil Twin Key. I don't know how to pronounce that. Three Harpy's Featherstorm. I love this card. I have this main deck in my deck. It just works great as a universal negate. I really, really love this card. Three, uh, One copy of Lightning Storm. Three Trap Trick. And three Ultimate Slayer. And I guess the Trap Trick is going to be if this person decides to uh, main this. Or sorry, side it in. And then they can side in the Trap Trick as well. And the Ultimate Slayer does help out. It makes a lot more sense now as to why Entis is here. I was thinking about that. But I was like, hmm, maybe I just forgot something. But now I see the Ultimate Slayer. So... This makes a lot more sense now. Uh, do we have another one? No, these are the best cards. Surprisingly, Flunderies, well not surprisingly actually, because the ability to banish is key to beating um, a lot of these new meta decks. So sprites and Shizu's, a tier elements, whatever you want to call it. But this card or this deck, Flunderies thrives off being able to banish. So I can completely see how this is in there. This is definitely a dope deck. I'm going to be looking at this in more detail, maybe messing around with some of the ratios and seeing how it works for me. I do like um, the addition of Mystic Mind because I'm a degenerate. I don't use it in my own deck personally. Um, but this is definitely something that might be worth trying out, something that might be worth uh, checking out. And then the Prosperity, obviously, if you don't want to run Prosperity, you do have Extravagance to run as a substitute. Um, however, I do think Prosperity is a little bit better. So... Um, there's some give and take there. Just extravagance is way cheaper, whereas a dollar compared to almost thirty-seven dollars. You know, so that's just how it works. But anyways, guys, this is Plotter Ricard signing out for the day. If you like what you see, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe, and you can let me know what you guys think about these decks in the comments down below. Is there anything you'd add? Anything you'd take away? Or any or anything that you feel about these decks that could be changed in general? Love to hear about it in the comments down below. And we will see you in the comment or not in the comments. I'm stupid. We will see you in the next video. Well, technically, we will see you in the comments.